Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the city of Allerton, currently being defended by Leonis de Grants, and well defended as well. What I just discovered is that it's also guarded with a bell tower that does area of effect damage against our troops. So we may wish to postpone the assault until we have a better solution than what we currently have. I don't know really what to do, actually. I'm Marcus Aurelius, and this is Age of Wonders 3, a roleplay campaign where you, the viewer, gets to make the decisions. And uh, we're in a position right now where we greatly, greatly are stronger than Leonis. We have our scout here, and we discovered this city here is barely even defended. Anya could probably take it on her own. In fact, we might want to actually try that. Except they can't move very far. Oh, there's a builder here. That builder's not even a troop. That's part of the reason, I'm sure. Let's get the builder out of here, actually. And you know what? We might have to get Narvik involved as well. All right. You guys are just going to hang out. You're just going to wait. There goes our monster hunters. You want to end your turn? Yes. Okay, Stoicana has a wooden wall. Star Shortbow, the thieving axter. And he also has a skilled adventurer's slingshot. Where the heck did he get that from? Regardless, what is this here? Ancient Ruins, Monument of the Ancient God King. So we lose population, but gain production. Strong. I, you know, I want to send Narvik there with a full stack of cavalry. Dwemus, what do you want? He wants open borders. No. I'm not sure why he even want that. He doesn't need to go through my lands to get to Leonis. Oh, but here's Leonis. Alondra, the Exorcist, a Necromancer, along with a Trebuchet. And a settler. What a strange army. Alright, Stoicana. We're gonna... Well, because you're kind of in the front lines, I think a stone wall would actually be quite useful for you. Druze. Okay, this would give us... Yeah, Fanger's Stone Ward. This unit of cavalry under Gaspard is not doing so great. Which is too bad, because we'd really like to take out these spiders. How far are the other mariners from getting here? Pretty far. I was going to say they can guard it while the other mariners come and help us fight the spiders. But that's not to be right now. Let's get Sarandi back. And we'll send two more mariners out. Yeah, you guys are going to stay put. Alright, so here's the scenario here. I've... This city is well defended. Well defended. We're going to take some incredible casualties, especially the Bell Tower. Their troops aren't much to talk about. And without mana, they won't be able to do too much to us. But that Bell Tower, I'm really worried about it. It does 7 physical and 4 spiritual damage to all units. And it's in a 1 hex radius, so it can do damage to a pretty large amount of units. So Tour's got a good army. Frigoberto has knights. Preston just has berserkers. It's. I honestly might want to send some armies of just regular troops at him first to soften them up. It's a tough scenario. Oh, the cannon's coming after us. This is being guarded by one flame tank only. Our scout might get killed at this point. So, I don't know where his troops are, but this is not looking great for us. Because they're going to stand behind the walls and let the bell tower just take us out. Musketeers. 
And the golems are tough customers. I think we just need more troops, honestly. So we'll send Satura up. Be here with Thania. Until we can get more troops around here. We'll just continue to raid their lands. I mean, help is on the way. Monster Hunter. Horse Archer. This is going to be a tight battle, but we have to do this. We can't allow them just to settle a new city and move their heroes in our lands. Leonis has a ton of heroes. That trebuchet is going to be a problem. The settler is not going to be a problem. Alright, Swords Masters, let's just engage. Griffin. Engage. Anya. Engage. Monster Hunters, perfect. Their bows don't do very well against machines, but they'll do well enough. Long Swordsman. Let's join the party over here. Their priests will get a free shot on somebody. Not that impressive. Long swordsman. Do what you need to do. Monster Hunters. Hmm. Let's get the Swords Masters involved. Take one of her retaliations away. Oh, that was a great hit. Anya, do your thing. And the griffin will attack the priests from behind. And, oh, yeah, the battle's not won yet. They still have settlers. We'll send our flying troops out there to get them. And, of course, as she is known to, Anya will finish them. And another hero of Leonis falls by the wayside. Anya's gained a level. She definitely needs more hit points. 45 is definitely not enough. And that's all she gets for right now. What do we have on the ground? A black wand? Well, she can hold on to it for the moment. Might be good to go to Narvik. Oh, what does Leonis have here? He's out by himself with a flame tank, a knight, and... Oh, shoot, he has cavaliers. Okay, good thing we're moving Satura up here. Because we can take him. But that is a rough army. Who boy. Narvik. Let's head on to the front. You're going to see some action, my boy. I don't know how to get him, like, undead troops. I have no idea how that works, if you're not, like, actually an undead leader. Our monster hunters are really 
strung out along this path. Okay. So Randy's just going to hang out. So are you. All right, Narvik almost has a full force. This bard is going to continue here and relax. What should the builder do? Might be useful to build a road here. That way our re reinforcement armies don't have to come through the mountains. Although Ignatius will. You can see he doesn't go very far. Okay. Horse Archer. Let's see anything interesting. Race Governance, level up. So we get to choose between upgrades that improve a specific unit. Rank. Give two additional ranks instead of one. Siege Workshops and Master's Guild give an additional 15 production. So that basically means that our units that we produce are going to have a little bit more experience if we do this one. Which they could gain on their own by fighting. Or... All of our towns get better production, which means we can produce units faster. I think this one's pretty cut and dry. More experience is fine, but you can earn it through other means. Production is the way to go. What do I get at the end? All your human units gain bonuses. Oh, yeah, I don't produce merchandise once. This that we're definitely going to go with the military one for that. And Gaspard. All right. What can we do with him? Defense command and ranged command. That seems like a smart move. He, he is going to be a cavalry commander. I think the only... Yeah, Marshall is the one I think that goes to that. Robustness? That's probably a good idea, too. But let's focus on his leadership abilities. And his troops are all healed up, actually. So let's go hunt some spiders. Oh, they're not healed up. That one still isn't, but that's okay. He will by next turn. We'll bring up the Mariners. I know we're leaving Drew's undefended, but it's just for one turn. I'm taking a risk. We have more Mariners on the way. Leticia is going to continue with the Mounted Archers. All right, so the Geldorf Settler is actually going to go up here. I'm not sure where exactly we're going to found the city. We should probably look at it. Obviously, around this thing, it seems like a good idea. That way we can include... Well, Heralta Sane will eventually include this library. So we don't have to worry about that, I don't think. In fact, once our mana's back, we should start making sure all of our cities have that spell. Okay, well, this one, Heralta Sane does, but has the spell cast on it that improves its influence. We'll also get the Ancient Ruins here. Although I think we have to choose the Enchanted Treasury. No, I guess not. I thought the, the Pit of the God King ever required that you had to pick one. Alright, now Geldorf. Geldorf needs to focus now on... Man, maybe some Siege Engines? That might be something. Or a Siege Workshop will give us trebuchets. That seems like the way to go. This bar, you're just going to wait for a second. Builder will um, continue building. Seems like a good way to go here. I don't think we need to go all the way to the city just yet, though. Especially while it's still guarded by the enemy. And there is Leonis. Okay, Satura, can you get there in time? No, you can't. Alright, Anya. 
these two working together. Can stall him for a bit. Preston. Nah, you two will stay here. We have, th we have three full armies here. I really want to use them, but I don't want to lose any heroes to that bell tower. I'm really nervous about it. Like, I almost feel like just sending the troops. Like, sending Preston back to get more troops and just sending these guys out by themselves. Well, we'll see. And we have Narvik here with another full-strength army. Latissian horse archers on the way. And Aurelian Cavalry. We don't actually have any, like, regular troops just defending Geldorf, or did I accidentally move them out somewhere? No? Maybe the Monster Hunter? I don't know. These seem like attack armies. Interesting. And now we've got monster hunters to deal with. I wish I could just tell them to automatically go to the city. Alright, Anya, you're going to hang out here. Just wait. Alright, let's take a look at his capital if we can. Another cavalier. Frederick von Oswick has been returned to life. I think our scouts' days are numbered. All right. Leonis, what are you doing? Especially with this mana conjunction thing, or is that over? It might be over. I mean, we, we would be fools to not take advantage of an opportunity. What the hell is this? Wraith Kings? Two, three Wraith Kings and three Bone Trackens? I... Gaspard can't even take that. I mean... <sighs> Tier 4? Tier 3? Druze is going to fall again. I just... This is cities can't be defended. I mean, what is it? Where did this even come from? This is ridiculous. Well. Let's at least get rid of the spider den. Oh, good. We kind of block them. Alright, well we need to lead an evacuation of Druze, or at least get everybody down to the Hall of History, because there's no way we're going to be able to take on Bone Dragons. Let's get everybody around here to help. Nice. Alright, one batch of spiders is already down. We have some hunter spiders there. Let's, uh... Let's see here. Let's try to get some arrows into them. Excellent. Now they're down. Good job. Alright, so we don't have to do anything. They could attack our mariners, but that's all they can do. Oh, and teleport, apparently. Didn't see that one coming. They resisted the net. Dang it. They resisted another net. 
All right, these Mariners are going to have a bad time. Let's see if we can't pump them full, full of arrows. Well, we might lose the Mariners. But it is what is. And they've done it in such a way that we can't even get reinforcements out to them. Gaspard, you have a ranged weapon, don't you? Nice. Shoot, yeah, we're probably going to lose the Mariners, but we might not. Maybe they'll be able to take him out in the retaliation. We'll see. Nope, they survived. Good on them. Gaspar, get some experience. Peaceful Kassok of the Battle Herder. Holy Champion. That's exactly what this guy needs. Since he's going to be fighting bone dragons pretty soon. Holy wow. Yeah, I think I think Gaspar is just going to roam around here getting experience. There's no way you can defend Drews against this army. I mean, they, they might go away. We'll see. But wow, Drews, man. Now we can recruit this point as ogres. To get stone giants, we need a five-turn men here of granite. Alright, so the council decided after Warbreed that we would do Conqueror. Aurelia. This actually brings up a good point. Should we start getting ready for our airships? Should we, for example, maybe try to get uh, cavaliers? Or knights? Or should we just keep pumping out more and more cavalry? Let's go. We'll go Statue of Progress. We're all at the same. Let's throw up a stone wall. Stoicana. There's our enchanted armory. We don't really need the shrine. Public baths would be good to make people a little bit more happy. And then a barracks to start building armored troops. Alright. Drew's is just going to sit tight. Let's see what we got here. We have Orc Martyrs and a Halfling Brew Brother. I don't think that's anything Gaspard should be worried about. He needs to build up his strength so he could take on those undead monstrosities. And his, some of his cavalry should be able to upgrade into knights if we're lucky. What does the Brew Brother do? Nourishing meal, throw cleavers. Okay, that's pretty tough. True sight, well fed, physical weakness. Other, not really. Nothing really super impressive, honestly. You know what? Let's let them come to us again. Yeah, the martyrs can't do anything. Nobody can really do anything. Oh, actually, I didn't even need to go that far. All right. Bring it. Gaspard laughs at your javelins.
and your cleavers. Hmm. We don't have a clear shot. But we have good morale, which is just as good. Oh, interesting. They're dying for their... Huh. That is super interesting. Let's use the cavalry. So maybe one of them can turn to a knight at some point. Alright. Now we have whatever this place is. A shrine of the guardian angel bestows visiting units with regrowth for their next battle and fully restores their health. Nice. Let's get up here so we can back up our mariners. I don't even know if we should even send these guys in here. They'll just get killed. Wow, gas breath. 90 hit points. Alright, fearsome. Inflict brain rot. Gas breath. Dragon. Night vision. Charge. Mind control immunity. Undead. Dedicated to evil. They do have fire weakness and spirit weakness. Too bad we don't have Satura. Satura could eat them up. These guys... Also, Brain Rot, Life Steal, Incorporeal, also dedicated to evil, Physical and Bite Protection, Weakness to Spirit. Yeah, we need Satura up here. Our Scout still stands. Let's see what Leonis has guarding his capital. A Cannon, a Flame Tank, and a Trebuchet. A Cavalier. Frederick von Oswald, and another Flame Tank. Man, if only we had armies that could strike down into here. In fact, we might want to do that. We might just want to do a quick little naval action. I wonder if we can get away with that. Just leave them kind of sitting here. All right, Scout, let's get you somewhere safe. I don't know. I mean, should we attack the city? I mean, we're going to take heavy casualties, but we can refresh them quickly. We've got Narvik coming up here with more men. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that will be determined in the next episode. So there's a lot going on here. We've got plenty of troops down here to do much of anything, but they've got a really great defensive position that we can't really mess with. At least we have our access to our magic again. I think we're going to be able to take down Leonis in the next episode, which will hurt their magical production and stall us some time. Carl, I'm not worried about. But these guys, I'm worried about. So we'll see what happens. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Marcus Aurelius. I'd like to thank you very much for watching Age of Wonders 3, a roleplay campaign where you, the viewer, gets to make the decisions. Have a good one.